Here we're going to briefly introduce the Lophotrochozoa. First and foremost, we want you to be able to define Lophotrochozoa and then make a list of their main features. Again, this is Lophotrochozoans as a whole, so this is a relatively brief overview and we're going to go into more detail into specific groups in future lectures. Remember that Lophotrochozoans are part of the bilateria and that bilateria includes two groups, the protostomes and the deuterostomes. I've highlighted the protostomes here, and we can see that the lophotrochozoans are part of the protostomes, which means that they have a blastopore that develops into a mouth and spiral mosaic cleavage. If we zoom in on the protostomes, we can see that they're divided into a couple of main groups. One is ecdysozoa, and the other is lophotrochozoa. Again, lophotrochozoa is the focus of this video. Lophotrochozoans include lots of different groups, some of which, which you're probably not all that familiar with, but sh some should stand out to you. Namely, you should see that we have the annelids, and we also have the mollusks. Lophotrochozoa can be broken down into a couple of words. First is lophophore, and the lophophore is a horseshoe-shaped feeding organ that's covered with tentacles. Most of the groups that we're going to talk about are not going to have it. And in fact, if you look at lophotrochozoans as a whole, only those groups with the star, namely bryozoans, brachiopods, and pheronids, have a lophophore. But the complexity of the structure, not only in its morphology, but in its development, is such that we infer the lophophore is a synapomorphy of lophotrochozoa that has been lost by other groups. So a lot of research that has gone on in this, and we're not really going to discuss it, so you want to take that as face value. So the lophophore is a synapomorphy of lophotrochozoans that's been lost by most of the groups that we're going to talk about. Last is the trochophore, so we define the lophophore as a horseshoe-shaped feeding appendage, but the trochophore is a specialized free-swimming larval stage that's common to any aquatic lophotrochozoan. Cilia are used for locomotion and feeding, and it looks like a little spaceship that swims around in the ocean. Now keep in mind there are many examples of terrestrial lophotrochozoans, and in those cases, we've lost the trochophore larva. So a trochophore larva is again a synapomorphy of the lophotrochozoa, but it's been lost in all terrestrial groups.